This is the time of the year that these beautiful little violets come up in my yard free range and I want to take the opportunity of utilizing them in echo dyeing paper or in bleaching their color through to this watercolor paper that I am putting down. I've done some research on this over the years and I have found a couple of ways that work quite well for me and I'm going to share with you today the method that I use to get the results that I just showed you briefly. I have gathered some greenery out of my yard. That's some wild garlic coming up. Those are some little uh, free sprouting little plants that are coming up under my cedar trees and of course the violets. I use aluminum, 100% aluminum sulfate or alum in the grocery store. I buy it bulk. If you want to pick it up bulk, there's an easy way to do that through my website, toolcrowsmixmedia.com. You can go into my Amazon shop and buy it there in bulk. doesn't cost you any more if you buy it through my shop. It just gives me a tiny little commission. I am putting about a tablespoonful of that aluminum sulfate into this cup of water, and I shall coat each piece of my paper with that. Now, I noticed that I had a little blue paint on my sponge, so that's why you see the little blue tinge in my water. It did not transfer off onto my paper. It just made my water a little murky. Now that I have all of those coated, I shall arrange the flowers on each piece of watercolor paper. And while I do that, I'm going to turn on just a little bit of music so you don't have to listen to me drone. Through the wind I give in I'm storming, breaking like the tide Every time
had quite a bit of help with that with Kurt and Minkus, my daughter's cats that like to hang out in my shop. But I have packaged, have all of those stacked, and I am packaging them in between these two pieces of aluminum. And yes, I finally noticed that there was a hole in my water jug, and I realized that I'm working here in a very wet surface, but I was, I was in the mode, and I did not want to stop to clean off my desk. So let me get this tied up with some string and I am just going to wrap that around the aluminum. Now I am fortunate enough to have had my husband cut me these two pieces. However, you can utilize cardboard, you can utilize um, you know, packaging like a, a piece of cardboard box to sandwich them in. The purpose is to get everything tight inside this front and top cover so that everything stays sandwiched together because we are going to drop it down into boiling water and we don't want everything floating off. So to ensure that those plants leach their color out into the paper, we need to keep that paper securely in place. So wrapping very, very tightly to make sure that none of that paper moves around during this process. So I feel like I have it securely into place now, <clears throat> but we'll just tie it around, wrap it around one or two more times just to make sure. Now, the other thing that this is going to do is it's going to give me a nice um, colored string. As you notice, I put a lot of onion skins into the mix so I'm utilizing the violets and the onion skins to create the color from the plants. Now we'll just put a brick on top of that. We have it in the pan. And I'm going to take it over to my deck, pull out my camp stove, and get it to a boiling temperature. I'm going to put, drop a little more alum or aluminum, aluminum sulfate into my water. And we'll just pour that water right into this pan. I'm going to turn on the burner. Now you can do this on your stove. I just happen, we were campers, so I happen to have this camp stove. So I'm going to set my timer and let it roll for an hour. And once that hour has passed, I shall let it cool. And now I am cutting off the string. I probably could have untied it and got myself some nice lengths of that string, but I'm keeping that string because it has that nice yellow color to it from the onion skins. And now I will just wipe the plants and onion skins off my paper. And we will enjoy the results that those beautiful little plants gave us on these note cards. And I am going to link a journal that I used one of these little note cards in right up above so you can see how I used one of it and I, I haven't really started to use them yet but I was doing a packaging video with my coffee cup prompts so that that is what what you see linked there And I think we're getting some great results. See how that blue comes through so clearly? That's why I get excited when I see these come up in my yard. And they <clears throat> don't last very long. They come up and they live for about a week and then they're gone. So I have a very short window of time. There isn't a lot of other greenery blooming. There isn't a lot of plants that have started to leaf out. But these, the, they come up with the daffodils if you will. 
So now we have everything finished and if you enjoyed this content, please give me that thumbs up. It does help my channel very much. And of course, I would love to have you subscribe and follow along with me. You can also find me over on Facebook in my Facebook group, Two Old Crows Mix Media, where I would love to see your videos, your pieces of art that you do, following along with the processes that I have put out here, or just introducing us to something new. Thank you once again. I've put another video I think you might enjoy right here.